According to a 2021 World Health Organization survey, depression is one of the leading factors causing disability across the globe. The same report estimates that about 280 million people worldwide are depressed. There are three levels of depression, mild, moderate and severe. They are classified based on how severe the symptoms are and the overall effect on the affected person's daily activities and functioning. In the worst case scenario, depression can lead to death. Causes of depression include physical or emotional abuse, substance abuse, family history and dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction is highlighted for the benefit of today's topic. One erroneous school of thought is the belief many people have that satisfaction comes from the quality of life. It is possible for a person to have within easy reach all the good things of life and still be miserable, unhappy and broken. Such cases are on the news every other day. Talented footballer kills himself. Popular actress harms herself. Business tycoon jumps off a building. Looking into their lives from the outside, it may be almost impossible to understand why someone who has access to the fine things of life would attempt to end his life. This proves that satisfaction does not come from the millions lying somewhere in an offshore account or the admiration of 1,000 people. Life is deeper than that. The dictionary describes satisfaction as unhappiness, displeasure or discontent, or the cause of such feelings. The term is broad and is applicable judiciously in a plethora of contexts. A person who has not eaten to his fill can say he is dissatisfied. A boss unimpressed by his employee can claim to be dissatisfied by the quality or input quota of his work. A mathematician, after solving problems in Bernoulli's theory, may say that the equation is not satisfied. Dissatisfaction cuts across all areas of life. It can stem from continuous difficulties like long-term unemployment, delayed dreams, financial frustration, disappointment, and rejection. Emotional deprivation, career or academic stagnation, and so much more. In the final analysis, it is only God that gives true satisfaction. Only what God gives lasts. Quit looking for the right things in the wrong places. The world gives only what the world has. Friends give what they can. Money gives what it can afford. Your body gives what it can spare. But God alone, in his infinite mercy, gives satisfaction. He offers you the chance to enjoy life while pursuing improvement. He gives you reason to appreciate every blessing every new day. He makes sure that while we walk for and trust him to do more in us, for us, we maintain a firm grasp of reality and nothing has the power to steal our joy. He has to put so much potential in every man and he intends that on the journey to maximizing that potential, we are not miserable. In looking to satisfy ourselves, we often chase after the wrong things. We know God's plan for us and what we ought to do. But since it doesn't seem feasible to us, we pursue other things instead. The Samaritan woman at the well was worried about all the wrong things. She wanted to draw up normal water. She was concerned with what Jesus would use as a container to drink. She worried about what people would say if they saw her associating with a Jew. If only she knew. The only license to obtaining true satisfaction is accepting the love and lordship of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice he made. Later, when Jesus said the things that the Samaritan woman thought were hidden, she called him a prophet. Perhaps there were other things disturbing her, but her main concern was the solution to her immediate thirst. Jesus saw further than that. Would she need to run back to the world every time she was thirsty? Or was that physical thirst a subconscious way to mask the turmoil in her mind? Jesus said to her, 
everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the water that I give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. John 4 from verse 13 to 14 This offer was almost too good to be true. He was not referring to just water. He was not looking to satisfy her immediate wants. Jesus offered to this woman on a platter of gold satisfaction for life. The God kind of satisfaction. One that does not run out or expire. One that is not indigenous to tribe, race, qualifications, public opinion or finance. It multiplies and diversifies and branches out to every area of a person's life. From contentment, it grows into the timely manifestation of God's promises and finally blossoms into eternal life. It is the ability to enjoy life from within. This kind of satisfaction comes from inside and it has but one source. That offer is still valid today. Terms and conditions do not apply. There is no price tag. Offer is valid forever because stock lasts for eternity. It is the God-given satisfaction. The satisfaction God gives is not up for argument or comparison with what is obtainable elsewhere. It shines in your smile. It shows on your face. It shows in your actions. It is there in your outlook of life and opinion on so many things. You do not feel the pressure to walk yourself to the bone. You realize your self-worth and the place of grace in any race. No matter the positions of things, you are not stuck in the realm of agitation and anticipation because you are sure of who cares for you and what he can do. Embracing Jesus is embracing contentment. It is taking the power from anything that threatens to throw you off balance. It is saying goodbye to emptiness and the chase for fulfillment. It is strength and beauty and abundance and more than enough. It is only God that gives that kind of satisfaction.